My name is Lars Horobin and I'm a clinical team mentor with West Midlands Ambulance Service. My name is Amy Arrington and I'm an Education and Training Officer with West Midlands Ambulance Service. The limitations of using a standard cot, obviously all childs are different sizes and they wouldn't necessarily fit. If the child is not secured properly then there is at risk that the child can become dislodged during an incident, say for instance the ambulance was involved in an RTC. The ACR is really easy to operate. We keep it in the back of the ambulance, it comes out in a little bag, um, it's quick to use. There are massive advantages because it comes in, in three or four different sizes. It means that you can safely secure different sizes of child to the ambulance cot. It doesn't create any pressure to the child's chest. Also, clinically, we have full access to the child without releasing them from the restraint itself. I definitely recommend using the ACR to all clinicians. It's the only way, really, that you should transport a child. This is an ambulance child restraint training video. Follow this simple guide to ensure you are using the ACR product correctly and effectively. The ACR comes in four different sizes, extra small, small, medium and large. They are colour coded so that they are easily distinguishable. Inside your ACR compact storage bag, you will find the following items. The ACR is universally compatible with any cot. First attach the blue harness straps to cot frame. Pass the looped end around the frame. Repeat this so that all four harness straps are attached to the cot frame and resting on the mattress. Open the ACR with the label facing away from you. Open so the restraint is fully exposed and ensure the chest strap buckle is unclipped. Now lay the ACR on the mattress with the bed mount strap buckles facing down and the crotch strap pointing towards the bottom of the cot. Click into place the buckles on the bed mount strap to the ACR harness. Pull down each of the four blue harness straps to hold the position of the ACR on the cot. Once in place, fully open the straps located near to the top and bottom of the restraint. When positioning the child on the stretcher, ensure that the child's waist is level with the waistband. Now bring the shoulder straps over the child's shoulders. Feed the red tab on the arm strap through the D-ring and secure the hook and loop against the strap below. Firmly press together, ensuring the white marker has cleared the D-ring for maximum engagement. Repeat this on the other shoulder and then secure the chest strap. Bring the single waist strap across the child's waist. Fit and engage the double waist strap. Press firmly together. Lift and peel back the outer waist strap with the red tab. Position the crotch strap centrally, close and engage the outer waist strap and press firmly together. Ensure the markers have sufficient hook and loop engagement in the contact area. For medium and large harnesses, secure the child's legs with the cot strap. Finally, tighten the four blue harness straps on the stretcher. Pull each strap down to tighten. The child is now secure. Ensure you fold the straps in so that none of the hook and loops on the straps or buckles are exposed.
Thank you for watching the Ambulance Child Restraint Training video.